Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter. So I'm out here in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, and I'm out here checking out some of the best travel tech that I can find. And while CES is a really a concept-based show, so I would say 90% of the stuff that you see at CES, even in the news, are stuff that never actually becomes a product. It's really for concept or to generate buzz. There's a lot of stuff that you see that really doesn't have any application or that there's no intention of application sort of in the real world. What's interesting about this 2020 CES is it's the first time that Delta has been here. So I went to check out their booth and they actually had some really cool stuff. But starting off, they had these exoskeletons again for exhibits. These are things that you could use to carry very heavy luggage, but it'll never actually make it into a real product. So I got to check that out. But where Delta really made a splash this year was their parallel reality technology, which I got to see. So essentially what Delta is calling the parallel reality technology is a screen that can be viewed by a whole bunch of different people, up to 100 people at different angles, and they can see different things on the screen. So the way this demo worked was they had me create a boarding pass with my name, a destination and a language that I did not speak. And they scanned this QR code when you go in. in the first demo, there were these four points where you could stand. So the four of us were standing at different points. And if you look at the screen from a different angle, you would see a completely different thing. So the images, the text, basically the entire screen was customized for everybody based on where they were standing in this particular demo. You can see exactly what I'm talking about with these mirrors that were set up behind the demo. So you can see what everybody else was seeing at the different angles based on these different mirrors. And you can see as I move the camera around that the image is changing and it really looks like and it looked like to me in person that the screen was changing. So it looked like it was changing for everybody, but that's not what's happening. I'm just moving the camera to a different angle. And what's happening is those pixels based on the angle is showing a different image to everybody. You can see that shift was really smooth and seamless and it really did look like the screen was just totally changing like a normal TV screen. But again, if you look at the mirrors, you can see that everybody was seeing something different and it was a really cool thing to see in person. Now, when I got up close, you can see that these pixels are pretty large. I want to say about maybe a half a centimeter per pixel. And when you get too close, you can see how thick those pixels are. When you got a little bit closer, you can see at an angle that you can't really see the screen at all. I did get to talk to the CEO of the company that has developed this technology that Delta is working with to get a little bit more information about how the technology works and where it's headed. Yeah, I'm a Delta Airlines on innovation strategy. Uh, played a role in uh, our process partnering with Miss Black Sciences. I'm Albert Ng, co-founder and CEO of Miss Black Sciences. Uh, so one thing I noticed is each the pixel, I guess, pixel there, are they separate screens, each one, or is it one full screen on the back and then each one is displayed is certain things? So how does, what's the difference between one little pixel here and the, the other one next to it? Sure, so just taking a step back on how the technology works. Parallel reality displays show different content to different people in the environment by the individual pixel technology. So if you think about a pixel of a normal display, like an LED video wall or a TV, a pixel of a normal display emits the same color light in all directions at one time. So a red pixel emits red light everywhere. Our parallel reality pixels can control the color of light that it sends in different directions. So at one time, a single pixel can emit green light towards you. So when you look at that pixel, you perceive green. Where simultaneously, that same pixel can emit red light towards the person next to you. So when the person next to you looks at the pixel, they see red while you see green. So we can do this at a large scale, enabling many people looking at the same pixels in the display to each perceive different colors simultaneously. With each subsequent generation, as we're improving the technology, we're improving the pixel size, improving things like bezels between panels, improving brightness, improving the color reproduction, and every single generation we're improving those. But this is the first generation that people are seeing today. What about sunglasses or people who wear glasses, things that would reflect, refract light? Does that affect the display at all? Or? Uh, no, so you can look at the displays with sunglasses on or you can look it through your smartphone uh, camera lens and it also works. It's because the technology is de designed so you can see it with your naked eyes. It doesn't require a head-mounted display with like a private display on, you know, attached to your face. This is something that you can see very naturally. Why, why Delta and why this technology? Why is this? It seems like a, 
an interesting leap, but not one I would expect. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great, that's a great question. So we are really excited to be here at CES. Uh, it's an awesome showcase uh, for us to explain more publicly how we engage with startups and how we look for emerging technologies that can play a role in improving customer experience overall. So after doing this first demo, we got to scan our boarding pass again for a second demo, which was a lot cooler, which really kind of blew my mind. So you scan this QR code and what happens is there's a camera above and that camera above sort of records your shape and follows you around. And based on where you are, it would say, hello, your name, which it was showing me my name, which was kind of cool. And then because I selected Japanese, which was the language that I didn't know before when I created this fake boarding pass, it would show all the text to me in Japanese. This screen technology can show a different image to up to 100 people and you can see how useful this could potentially be. So you have your boarding pass, you've got sensors either above you that are following you based on this QR code, or in reality what they want to do is it would tie maybe to Bluetooth, to a QR code or to your Delta app that you have in your hand. And as you walk through the airport, instead of having to, you know, look at the screen and find that exact flight and your gate and all of that stuff if there's a delay you look at the screen there's just this massive display that only you can see it's really convenient it probably will help traffic in an airport so people can go through faster you can customize the language too so you can set your language to chinese or to japanese or whatever language that you happen to speak so if you don't happen to speak english which most of the terminals are always in the native language usually and english but if you don't speak either of those two languages on a layover, for example, then as you go through the airport, the displays are all customized to you in a different language. Delta was pretty clear to point out that these cameras above weren't doing any kind of facial recognition. They were just following your shape based on the QR code that you scan and that QR code ties that camera scan with you. So when you're walking around, it knows who you are and then it gives you the information displayed specifically to you. They're not using facial recognition right now, so they were really clear to make a point that they're not keeping that data or storing it, and it's just using your shape as it follows you around the airport. I could see this technology being really useful and having a lot of different applications, especially as those pixels get smaller and the screen resolution gets better. Delta is actually going to be debuting this parallel reality screen in the Detroit airport coming up in the summer, so hopefully I'll get a better look at that when it actually is in production. But this technology was really interesting. It got me thinking about all sorts of things like, you know, if you have kids and they want to watch one thing and you want to watch another, you can, they can just sort of set the TV to show the kids something. They put on headphones and then you watch what you're watching on the TV. There are all these different applications. Obviously, there are tailored advertising opportunities here as well, but the technology seemed pretty far along and it could be debuted and actually be useful. They let me know that this took about four years of development and when they debuted it, Delta really wanted to make sure that the technology wasn't just a concept. It was something where we could actually see it and you could actually imagine it being used in the real world, which it's going to be in the summer. Hopefully I'll have more information about Delta's parallel reality technology in the coming months. This is sort of your first look at it from CES. Let me know if you have any questions about it down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.